Let me just leave them. I don't want to be. I'm having a moment. <laughs> I greet you in that divine name of our Lord and Savior, His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie the First, who I love and continue to adore. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Now, your friends, be wary of your friends. Be very, very wary. I just had a moment. Now, I'm talking to a friend of mine for how much years? A dance hall friend because we party together, okay? So we're just having a discussion about, you know, something that happened on a boat ride. Now, my thing is this. As a mother, I cannot encourage my children to fight my battles which means if I go on a boat ride and there's an issue going on with somebody who's on the boat ride with me this is big people things now so you know this is grown people right okay so now you have an issue with somebody on the boat ride right so you decide you're going to bring your two daughter then just in case now my thing is this I said no that's a no 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 you cannot do that you cannot do that. As a mother, as a parent, you cannot encourage your grown children to come and fight your battles or be there for me just in case. I mean, adults, if that's the situation, you just don't go to the boat ride, correct? Being you feel like there's going to be all this contention, why even go? Okay, so the person went. And of course, it ended up the way that it ended up. So I'm trying to defend the ethics and the principles and the morals. And this dance hall chick is trying to overtalk me on the phone. Arguing about some other issue that pertains to this issue. I'm telling her I'm talking about the boat ride and the principles involved. She don't care and she's blabbing. So for like 20 minutes, pan the bomb. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, the demon came out in me. So now me can't talk. But you want to talk your dirtiness, your dance hall dirtiness to me. I must entertain it. But I'm talking about ethics and principles in dance hall, which don't work, of course. So who am I to even talk about that as a Rasta? Okay. And you're trying to shut me down. So you know what? None of us is hearing each other. Because I made sure that while you're... I'm also... So the two of us was doing this for like 20 minutes. To the point... That I started to call her... Bitch! And she still wouldn't stop. I must have called her that. 15 times on the phone and she won't stop so now I'm entertaining this behavior yeah your friends your friends so when you don't agree with the dirtiness and the nastiness this is what you get talked over you cannot speak they must continue talking and spewing out the dirtiness and you must agree with them. Yeah? I realized that I was caught up <laughs> in this sordid argument on the phone. And all that's coming out of my mouth is pure nastiness. Because of who I'm entertaining as a friend. So... No more. And then the thing is, she works, but well, she's trying to work where I work. Yeah. Oh, that's what we're doing? Okay. We'll see. I'm very private and I'm very quiet. You guys know what's up <laughs> when we're here. But I don't go out there blaring around and, you know, you know, promoting stuff, especially on the job. But these dirty people have no principles and ethics. 
and that's why they don't last long on the job. I continue to have continuity on the job because I know my place. They don't. I wish she would. So I said, let me come online. <laughs> because the way how I just sinned my soul, it's because of your friends. Because of your so-called friends. But she's not a raster anyway. So I deserve what I got. Because I shouldn't be entertaining that kind of behavior. So I deserve that. Every inch of, every piece of it, I deserved it. So it has taught me to keep these people at bay. Because they're not dealing with what I'm dealing with. Yes, I like to go, you know, party and dance and so forth and so forth. I mingle with the heat and them. Yes, I do. <laughs> But it lets me see that it's it's on a different level. So anyway, I'm gonna read Jeremiah because I need some upliftment. Oh let, hold on first. Before I read Jeremiah. Copy the water, but you have no heart attack because me yeah. Smoke weed and may I read the Bible. I'm tired. Anyway, hope you all are having a wonderful day. I did the kitchen yesterday. We did the fried dumplings. Oh yeah, and also Misery loves company. What happens is this when it comes to a, a woman especially in the time of her relationship dissolving that's when you get the real miserable woman friend so because her relationship is dissolving she's miserable and i'm the one that's getting it because nobody else don't want to listen to her so now her relationship is breaking up with a younger person, way younger than she is. She's in my age group. So this person is younger than she. And she's been holding on, you know, holding on for dear life onto this relationship. Meanwhile, he... Yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> he is all over town <laughs> with his young self. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm doing it. And now it's come to the revelation that she can't deal with this no more. So because she can't deal with all of this running around and he won't stop. There's a dissolvement in the relationship. And because the relationship is being dissolved, <laughs> misery takes over. And when misery takes over, you got to find a friend, somebody who you can talk to. And when you find that friend and you see the friend is all happy with her little life, <laughs> you start calling her every day, every day. Every day until it builds up into an argument, a cosalt argument, because they're miserable. Your friend. So that's basically it. Meanwhile, I do remain happy because I mean, I have them, the problem there. 
to, I, you know, and I realize because when you entertain the nonsense, this is what happens. So now I'm not going to entertain the nonsense. I'm done. Because it took me out of my element. And I don't like to be taken out of my rasta element. I don't like it. Because then I become like you. And I don't like it. So it's just proof positive. That. Your environment. And your friends. Will try to change up. Who you are. Especially when they're not on your level of consciousness. So, I could say that one of my ang angry angels, perhaps it was Michael, just kind of took over. I don't think she'll ever speak to me again, and she better not. But once you're cut off, you're cut off. I'm done. That's it. I can't entertain that kind of behavior. I'm trying to... I was actually trying to show the moral part and the ethical part and it's been, you know, um, ignored. When it comes to situations like that, there's no ethics, there's no morals, there's no principles, there's nothing. It's just pure madness and that's what I realized was being presented that all of that doesn't matter. Okay, well, now we see why the world is the way it is, right? Oh. Yeah, on I'm a raster for life, I know. We're very boring. I try not to get involved in um, worldly events and mixologies and conspiracy theories. I try not to entertain those things because I don't want to be confused. A lot of people entertain these things and that's why they are confused. Because you have all this information that you're taking in. And most of that information is just nonsense and you become confused. So I try not to, you know, be a part of all of these conspiracy theories and, 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 and what they think they're doing. You know, all you hear is they, 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 they. That's all you hear is they. And I keep on asking, who is they? And there, that's all I hear is they're trying to, they want to, they're trying to, they want us, they, they're, they. <laughs> We're living in a they and a their world. <laughs> I have to laugh. Nobody can exactly tell you anything other than they and their. <laughs> so I read my Bible when I have time for the they and the their. Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm just having a quiet moment by myself. There's nothing wrong. Actually, I'm enjoying this quiet moment. 
I'm a quiet person and I don't like to be taken out of my element so I enjoy my own company and the company of I'm a rest of the lifers when you log on so yeah so that's why I don't keep friends and if I do have any friends, they're short-lived. Because I can't pull up with the nonsense. I can't. I just can't. Hmm. Who's this, me? I'm just playing around with right her. What's this for? Oh. Oh, this makes the screen bigger. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, Facebook made some changes here. Let me see what they did. Hold on. Yeah, they made some. Oh, so we are Ica. So. So we there. So 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 so. <laughs> There's no light. No 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 nothing. We not understand what's going. All right. This is. Write a comment. Okay. Write a comment. Okay. And then 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 then. I mean, and the music I play. Oh, what is? Okay, that's the light. No, what the hell is it? All right. So comments. Wait. Hold up. Something's. Something's different with Facebook. God, or is it me? Then she and drop the thing, mate. Am I? I <laughs> Wait, comments will appear. All right, so, um, guest request, no viewers to invite you. Oh, is it because I have it on Do Not Disturb? I am. Do Not Disturb is on. I mean, I understand. 